So let's continue with the math section in Striver's DSA course. But before that, hey, welcome back to the channel. I hope you guys are doing extremely well. So the problem that we will be solving today is check if a given number is prime or not. So what is the definition of a prime number? Will you say that the definition of a prime number is a number which is divisible by one and itself? Is it a correct definition? Uh, probably not. This is not a correct definition because for this, if I take the number n equal to 1, then this definition will hold because the number is divisible by 1 and itself and itself is 1. It's here, right? So this is a prime number, which is not the case. So a better definition is a number which is divisible by 1 and itself and the total number of divisors and the total number of divisors is 2. 1 and itself. No one else got it. So for the number 1, 1 is the only divisor. So there is one divisor. So it is not a prime number. Got it? So if n is 2, is it a prime number? Yes, because uh, two divisors are 1 and the number itself. So this is a prime number. 5, 1 and 5. So yes. 10, this is not a prime number because it is divisible by 1, 10, 2, 5, 13. This is a prime number because it is only divisible by 1 and the number itself that is 13. So how do I check it? Now the easiest way to do it is you start looping from i equal to 1 and you can run the loop till n. You can keep a counter equal to 0 and you can say if n modulo i is 0, I can do a counter equal to counter plus 1 and at the end of the day you can say if counter is 2 which means the number of divisors are 2 print yes prime you can say print yes or else you can say print no this is not a prime number simple and straightforward but what will be the time complexity we go of n why because the loop is running for n right the number of iterations are n. So thereby the time complexity will be b go of n. And what will be the space complexity? b go of 1. Obviously, uh, the interviewer might not be happy or in a generic way. This is not the most optimal solution. So can we optimize this? Now when I'm saying that, the number has exactly two divisors. That's what I'm saying. Correct? So we did a previous problem which was printing all the divisors of a number. Correct? So whenever I write something as 36, the divisors are 1, 2, 3, 4, uh, 6 and the next are uh, probably 9, 12, 18, 36. And if you remember, there was a 1, right? And the other divisor was 36. There was a 2. And the other divisor was 18. Why? Because 2 into 18 will give you 36. There was a 3. And the other divisor was 12. 3 into 12 gives you 36. There was a 4. And the other divisor was 9. 4 into 9 gives you 36. And for 6, 6 into 6 gives you 36. So if I only check, if I only check till 6 for a number 36, which means square root of the number. If I only check till square root of a number, what will be the number of divisors? Let's take a number which is prime. 37 is a number which is prime. And the divisors are 1 and 37. So if I take square root of 37, that is 6 point something. Integer value is 6. So if I check till 6, I'll just get one divisor. I will just get one divisor. Make sense? So instead of checking till b uh, till n, what I can do is, I can just run a loop from i equal to 1 till square root of n. Can I do this? I can. And I can have a count equal to 0. And I can say, hey, if n modulo i equal to equal to 0, I can do a counter equal to counter plus 1. And at the same time, I can say, hey, listen, if n by i is not equal to i, this is very, very important. Uh, if you remember, 
if I'm counting the other divisor, if this is 6, the other divisor is 6 as well. I cannot count 6 twice. But if it is 2, the other divisor is 18. So I need to count 18. So please make sure you have a check. I've explained it in my previous video. So counter will again increase by counter plus 1, right? And if can end over here, for loop can start here, for loop can end here. And at the end of the day, if counter's value is 2, it is a prime or else it is not a prime. Now you can optimize this uh, probably right outside of for loop. You can write if at any moment counter exceeds 2, you can just break out because if the counter is exceeding 2, it means that it is not a prime number. So why to count the other number of divisors? Because the problem is not to count the number of divisors. Instead, it is it, it instead it is to say if the number is a prime or not. So what will be the time complexity? B go of square root of n. What is the space complexity? B go of one. Got it? So again, this for loop can be simply written as for i equal to one, i into i lesser than equal to n and i plus plus. This is going to work for all the numbers. If you take n equal to 1, the loop will be running for 1, 1 into 1 lesser than n which is 1. So it's going to count 1 divisor for n equal to 1. For n equal to 2, it's going to count straight away 2 divisors. So this loop will be working for everything. Yes. So counter equal to 2 works fine. Got it? So this is how you can easily check if a number is prime or not. So I hope you have understood uh, this particular problem and if that is the case, please, please do consider giving us a like and if you're new to our channel, do consider subscribing to us as well. With this, I'll be wrapping up this video. Let's finish up the video. Till then, bye-bye. Take care. Whenever your heart is broken